The valley was activated on Saturday afternoon as Arizona State hosted the Colorado Buffaloes, led by Coach Prime, to a sold-out Mountain America Stadium. Despite an impressive performance by quarterback Trenton Bourget with a touchdown on their opening drive and a 15-yard touchdown pass to Troy O'Meary to tie the score up in the final minute of the game, the Sun Devils could not keep up with primetime squad and ended up falling 27-24 to a game-winning field goal with 12 seconds left. You know, and being the quarterback, you know, I take a great responsibility and not putting up the amount of points that we needed to to win this game. Uh, but yeah, you know, it stinks to, to tie it up and then obviously, you know, they executed on a, you know, on a deep ball that next drive to, to win the game. Offense, we, we got a great job just putting up points. Arizona State's defense played the largest role in keeping the score close, racking up nine tackles for 56 yards lost. This is the first time that ASU has had a one to five start since 1942, but the Sun Devils stay optimistic. We're playing winning football, but we're not winning, which means we're very, very close, and you don't know when it's going to click. You don't know. But when it clicks, we're ready for it because we're playing significantly better football than we did at the start of the year. Kenny Dillingham is not the only head coach who believes in the future of the program. Earlier this week, Colorado head coach Deion Sanders expressed the faith that he has in this Arizona State football team under Kenny Dillingham. He said, like us, they're building something that's going to be tremendous. You just got to keep watching the story and see how it unfolds. The Sun Devils will look to bounce back and get healthy in this bye week before facing one of the top teams in the Pac-12, the Washington Huskies. I think the last team to beat Washington was us. You know, and, and they're one of the top teams in the nation. So just to know that we're right there, you know, against Colorado, against, you know, Cal. Um, but, you know, we just got to make a couple of plays here and there. In Tempe, for Inferno Intel, this is Lauren Avenetti.